everyone, welcome to Illegal Alien Racing. I haven't been out to the track since the last club race, so what I'm gonna do today, there's some things on my cart that are broken that I need to fix, uh, some things I need to replace, and I also need to clean the cart and just do some general maintenance on the cart. So we're gonna do that today. Now, if you're wanting to get into the sport, maybe your hang up, your hold up is that uh, you're a little worried about working on the cart because you're not a mechanic. I'm not a mechanic either. And as you get into the sport and um, spend some time in it, you're gonna figure out and learn how to work on your cart and maintain it. People are gonna show you things and you'll just learn that way. So don't let that keep you from getting into the sport if that's one of your concerns. I've got someone here today that has been on the channel before, but it's been a little bit of time since we've seen him. Check out who is here. Hey, what's up guys? This is Doug, if you remember Doug. He's gonna help me today. He's actually gonna do the work while I film. It's probably gonna be a little easier if we do it that way. So let's get going. Here's an overview of everything we're doing. We're gonna remove the engine, replace the motor mount, clean the clutch, check the reeds, replace the fuel line, replace the spark plug, change out broken clamps and bolts. And we're also gonna clean the cart and check the chassis for cracks. First thing we're gonna do is take the engine off. So Doug has to remove everything that's attached to the engine. So the air box, fuel line here, held on with a bunch of zip ties. And because we're replacing the fuel line with a new fuel line, we can use wire cutters to help us get the fuel line off a little easier. The fuel tank comes off, it's really simple. Just take that off and it slides right out. You can see how dirty the fuel tank is. And what we're gonna do to clean it is take these wipes that we got at AutoZone and just start wiping the fuel tank down. And after a while, all that stuff will start to come off and it ends up looking pretty good when you're done. Here Doug is just removing the throttle cable, other parts that are attached to the engine so we can get the engine off the cart. He's got to remove these springs to get the exhaust pipe off as well and then we'll clean that and get that thing looking pretty good. And how you do that is just take um, WD-40. You can see him spraying it down right there. Take like a Brillo pad or some kind of cleaning pad and just rub on it for a while. Um, you may need to add more WD-40 then you wipe it down with a rag or a towel and it ends up looking really nice when you're done. Now we gotta remove these two clamps here on the motor mount to get the engine off of the chassis. couple of things that you have to disconnect and it's off. So here we're going to check the seat stays on the frame to make sure they're not cracked. They commonly crack in these areas, have to check that. And once we check those, we're just gonna clean the cart. Here Doug is removing the clutch cover, it's held on with three bolts. And when he takes it off, you can see how dirty it is from the chain lube. See all that right there? We're gonna have to clean that out. You're moving the ground wire here and then removing, disconnecting other wires to get that free so we can clean it. Here I'm inspecting the front sprocket. You can see how it's kind of rounded. I had my chain pop off and I'm gonna have to replace that future when I get another one. He's just wiping the clutch off with a dry towel. That is brake cleaner on that portion and he just wipes it dry. We're going to remove that brown residue with the Brillo pad. I'm going to wipe off the excess. It looks a lot better right there. That's the new clutch bearing on the right, the old one on the left. This washer has an angled part to the inside and a flat part on the outside. Make sure you put the angled part in first so it matches up with the angle on the shaft. 
If you're not familiar with this, it may be a good idea to take a photo or a video when you disassemble it. That way you make sure you put it on there correctly. This is white lithium grease that I bought on Amazon for the clutch bearing. Just put a little on there, spread it around, put a little bit on the shaft, and back on it goes. And he's going to hit it with the impact and it'll be back on, ready to go. So we're going to replace this old motor mount with this Odenthal 5 degree mount. Engine sits on that top plate and that top plate moves back and forth. It makes changing the tension on your chain a whole lot easier than the mount that was on it before. Before we do that, we're gonna remove the carburetor and we're going to remove another portion and we're gonna check the reeds to make sure those are, in, those are looking good. So we're checking the reeds to make sure there's no cracks or chipping and they look good so everything goes right back in and gets reassembled the way it came off. Now we're putting the top plate on to the bottom of the engine. That's going to be with four bolts. Then we're going to attach the other piece using two other bolts. Before we do that, we're going to clean the clutch cover. You can see how dirty it, dirty it is. There's before and there's after. It's three bolts to put the clutch cover back on and then just reconnect everything where it should be. Here Doug's gonna put the engine back onto the cart, but we're not done yet, we still have to secure the engine to the cart with the two clamps along the bottom. And there you can see how easy it is to tension the chain because it slides on that plate. There's the two clamps right there. We're going to tighten those up and the engine is now secured and the tension on the chain is where it needs to be. And I check it to make sure everything's good there. Now we have to align the rear sprocket with the front sprocket and we use a sniper tool. So you put it on the rear sprocket and you shoot it towards the front sprocket. You can see it's a little to the inside. We loosen the back portion up that the sprocket's onto and we can move it on the rear axle side to side and right there to get it where it needs to be. You can see it lined up pretty much in the center. So we know that everything's aligned and it's going to be straight. Now if you don't have a sniper tool you can use a straight edge and put it on the side of the rear sprocket and the front sprocket to do the same thing. The stopper we bring it pretty much all the way to the front not quite touching the motor mount. Here we are doing some cable management. We're going to drill a hole through the seat and secure the EGT sensor wire with zip tie. This is something we notice when we're looking over the cart. It's a throttle cable, like some of the uh, covering on it's been torn off. This is just temporary. We're gonna use electrical tape and here he is securing it to the frame so it doesn't go anywhere. The air box will sit over this portion as well once we put that back on. Here Doug's putting new fuel line 
back onto the cart. We're also going to put a new fuel filter onto the cart. And notice, notice the arrow there, the fuel flow, the arrow goes to where the fuel is flowing to. So make sure that you pay attention to that when you're putting a new fuel filter on. Here we're gonna clean the air box. We're checking the filter looks good and you can see how dirty it is in there. We clean it with brake clean, put it back in there. And then we mount it back on the cart. And we're almost done, we're getting close. Attaches the accelerator cable, the throttle cable there. And that's the battery tray right there. There's a broken clamp, the top portion of this clamp is broken right there. So we're gonna undo what I did. I noticed it was loose when I was warming the cart up before a race, so I secured it with zip ties. I got the part, so now we're gonna just replace the part and see when we get it off that it snapped and we just replaced the uh, broken portion. There it is right there. These bolts hold the skid plates on the bottom which protect the frame. So those were sheared off, so we replaced all those. You can see how once we put the new ones on, they're recessed into the skid plates. Looks really nice. Here Doug is reinstalling the exhaust pipe four springs that he's going to reinstall to get that secured. We're going to also remove the spark plug. You can see what it looks like there. Put the new one in there. We're going to fire the card up and see if it starts. So we got done with the maintenance that we could today. A couple of things that still I still need to do um, is replace the uh, throttle cable, the um, clutch uh, sprocket, it's a little bit worn down, and then the uh, one of the bearings in the rear probably needs to be replaced soon. So those are some things I need to keep an eye on. But overall, I think I had a pretty good day. I think the cart's a lot better than it was before, and plus it's clean. Uh, and I'm really excited about the motor mount that's gonna make uh, changing the sprocket a lot easier. So that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Peace. Knock the piece off. <laughs> Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.